victorious in tonight's New Hampshire primary, beating Nikki Haley. But it wasn't the landslide outcome that some experts had predicted. And John Hook is live in Nashville, New Hampshire tonight with reaction to tonight's results. And John, despite those results, Nikki Haley told her supporters she is staying in the race. Yeah, that's exactly right, Mark. I mean, the experts are often wrong. And even though some were saying maybe Donald Trump could have an Iowa-esque finish here, this was never the kind of electorate that would favor Donald Trump. It actually kind of leaned a little bit toward Nikki Haley and a moderate candidate. So she did well tonight, but let's get right to the numbers. Any way you slice it, it's a double-digit win for Donald Trump. He's at 55%, Nikki Haley at 44%. That's an 11-point swing with more than 75% of the vote in New Hampshire. If it weren't anyone but Donald Trump, that is, that's a big win in politics. Double digits, that's a big win, and he looks to be cruising to the nomination. Now, I, uh, New Hampshire voters today, they turned out there was a lot of discussion about social issues. There was a lot of discussion about immigration, the economy. They turned out in big numbers. And this has really been a two-person race ever since Ron DeSantis dropped out earlier this week. It's Donald Trump and Nikki Haley. And right now, the party is coalescing around Donald Trump. The holdout is Nikki Haley. And Donald Trump will have to do something to try to bring her into the fold. Tonight may not do it. Nikki Haley, as you mentioned, Mark, vowing to continue on. This was what she said tonight. I want to congratulate Donald Trump on his victory tonight. He earned it. And I want to acknowledge that. Now, you've all heard the chatter among the political class. They're falling all over themselves, saying this race is over. It's not over. <laughs> Well, I have news for all of them. Woo! New Hampshire is first in the nation. It is not the last in the nation. <laughs> this race is far from over. There are dozens of states left to go. The next one is my sweet state of South Carolina. So Nikki Haley putting a good spin on it, but the map frankly does not favor her moving forward. Even in South Carolina a month from now, that's a state where she was governor and a popular governor there, but she is trailing Donald Trump in any poll you see there so far, and there hasn't been a lot, by 20 to 30 points. So you wonder if she will want to face kind of a humiliation there if those numbers hold. Now, Donald Trump, he spoke tonight as well. Um, he took some shots at Nikki Haley. Oh, what a great victory. But then somebody ran up to the stage all dressed up nicely <laughs> when it was at 7. But now I just walked up and it's at 14. <laughs> but, but she ran up when it was 7. And, you know, we have to do what's good for our party. And she was up, and I said, wow, she's doing uh, like a speech like she won. She didn't win. She lost. And, you know, last, last week we had a little bit of a problem. And if you remember, Ron was very upset because she ran up and she pretended she won Iowa. And I looked around. I said, didn't she come in third? Yeah, she came in third. And then I looked at the polls. She was talking about most winnability, who's going to win. And I had one put up. I don't know if you see it, but I have one put up. We've won almost every single poll in the last three months against crooked Joe Biden. Almost every poll. And she doesn't win those polls. Well, if you talk about how your opponents view you, the Joe Biden campaign tonight said that Donald Trump has all but locked up the Republican nomination and that this is going to be a fight again between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. They didn't mention Nikki Haley. They talked about Donald Trump. As for Joe Biden, as you know, he skipped New Hampshire, waging a write-in campaign here, and he did win tonight, but Dean Phillips actually came in at a pretty strong second. He outperformed expectations. The Minnesota congressman, who'd really been campaigning hard here, but Joe Biden wins it. He won't get any delegates out of here because they skipped this primary. 
For now, it looks like Trump v. Biden. We're going to get it again, guys. It looks that way. Yeah, it is. And I mean, John, we just have to address the beautiful snow that's <laughs> pouring down behind you. This doesn't look real. <laughs> Uh, it is real. Uh, we've taken a little cover here because we didn't want to get the gear wet, but it is snowing here. They expected this. It didn't hamper the voting at all. It actually yeah. started about two hours after the polls closed, but it's a typical New Hampshire January night. It's beautiful, and they love their first-in-the-nation primary status here. We'll see if it happens going forward because the Democrats skipping it this time. Mm. It puts kind of that on a little bit of shaky ground, and it's a lot of folks here feel pretty sad about that, actually. Yeah, I could see that. All right, we'll see what happens. John, thanks for your coverage. We appreciate it. Enjoy that snow. Great job to you and Joe. Yeah. It's a beautiful shot. We'll see you back here in the valley soon, John. <laughs> thanks, guys. We'll see you soon.